This is Michael Recipe with Keller Williams coming to you from Raleigh, North Carolina. Today I want to talk to you about credit scores and some of the quickest and easiest ways to increase your credit scores. Uh, when I got into this industry, one of my preferred lenders that I worked with told me that this was one of the best books I needed to read if I'm going to really help my clients and coach them. Uh, because when you're in, looking to buy a house, you obviously want to have the possible, the best possible credit score that you can get. And this book actually repair your credit like the pros gives you many different strategies. And I'd like to share 10 of those tips that they provided on how to increase your credit score. Now, just for background, credit scores range from 300 up to 850. Now, if your score is 750 or greater, you're actually considered to have excellent credit. Um, if your credit is not so good, maybe in the 600s or in a poor status um, in the 500s, there's definitely ways to improve that credit. So number one, the simplest, quickest, and easiest way is to simply just pay down your balances on your credit card. The credit agencies will look at the amount of debt to credit ratio that you have. And that magic number is right around 30%. So if you had a credit limit, let's say on your credit card of 10,000, your balance should be at $3,000 or less at all times. As long as you keep it below that 30% threshold, you can actually still have excellent credit. Once you get above 30%, you start to get dinged by the credit agencies. And then when you get above 50%, you're dinged harder. And then when you're maxing the card out is when you get the most negative impact on your credit score. So pay down those credit cards um, is one of the best ways to do it. On the flip side, if you could actually go to your credit card company and ask them to increase the amount of credit limit you have. Now, I don't recommend that. And that is not ideal. That's kind of going in the wrong direction. But if you were to get your credit card company to increase your credit limit, your debt to credit ratio would go down. So let's just say your debt to credit ratio was around 35% and that was negative. If you increase your credit line, you could potentially get that below that 30% and your credit, credit score could go up. Number three, distribute your balances across different credit cards. So let's say you had three credit cards and one of them had a very high balance. If you distribute that balance across all three cards, it'll take away that negative ding that you're getting from that one card that had the high balance. Number four, use old cards. If you have an old credit card that's sitting in your wallet and you're not using it, you're not getting the benefit of having a credit card over a long period of time. There's a benefit of having a, an account that's open over a long period of time, but you need to be using it at least once a month. So pull out that old card, whether you buy some ice cream with it or some eggs and milk at the store, um, and then pay down that, that balance, that's fine. And that'll actually keep that card active and you'll get the benefit of it. Number five, uh, pay down student loans below the amount that you borrowed. Now it might be a little bit more difficult, but ultimately if you can get the amount below the amount you borrowed, that will be a benefit on your credit score. Number six, carry your balance um, on your business credit card. So if you have a business and you have a business credit card, another strategy is to transfer those balances on your personal cards over to the business card, because what they found um, in this book they've stated is that only about 10% of the business cards actually uh, report to the credit agencies. So if you carry the balance on your business card, it may not get reported. Uh, number seven, avoid closing old cards. So when you have a, a credit card and you're not using it and you just wanna close it, what you're doing is you're decreasing the amount of credit that you have and that debt to credit ratio is gonna go up and that, that actually is gonna have a negative impact on your credit score. So keep those old accounts open. It's not gonna hurt you, especially with a zero balance. And again, try to use them once a quarter and just pay them off. Number eight, avoid opening new credit cards if you already have three or more. The ideal number that they talked about in this book is really to have three credit cards. Now, the one exception is if you have one credit card and you don't have any car loans, you don't have a mortgage, and you don't have a student loan, there's actually a benefit to you opening up um, some additional credit cards because when you go to buy a house, you do have to have three lines of credit in order to get a mortgage. And one of those needs to be with Visa or MasterCard. So in that sense, they, that they suggested opening up an additional line of credit. Number nine, um, set all your accounts to auto pay so you're not missing or late on any of your payments. That's a simple one. And then finally, stay away from finance companies. So for example, you go to the store and you buy a, an appliance or maybe a, a couch or something, and the store is offering financing. 
a lot of these uh, stores work with what's called finance companies and they offer what's called hard money lending or a hard they're a hard money lender they will they'll lend money to anybody people with bad credit scores and if the credit bureau sees that you have that kind of credit on your name um, it could actually have a negative impact on your credit score so that's 10 different ways that you could potentially increase your credit score again the book's called repair your credit like the pros highly recommend it you can get it on amazon for about 19 dollars. all kinds of strategies in there if you do have some things on your your um on your your the, on the credit reports there's different letters they suggest and how to write them the different language to use so uh hope that's helpful my name is michael recipe coming to you from uh, keller williams in raleigh north carolina and as always have a fantastic day